Warburg travel to Loris Wednesday night for Iowa Conference men's basketball. Knights go inside to Clay Cook early, twisting and turning through the lane. He scores. On the other end, Loris is Mirko Gurkic. Says, I can do that too. Puts it up and in. He had six straight at that point to give the Duhawks a 9-4 lead. The Knights go outside then. Nate Wasty spots up and hits the three. And then Mark Ellis hands off to Jordan Cannon, who nails the triple. Later on, it's Ellis trying from outside himself. He misses, but Clifton Brown is there for the easy putback. Warburg up 17 to 16 at that point. Ellis gets a second chance a few minutes later from long range. Splash, nothing but the bottom of the net for him. Loris's Justin Van Wambach answers with the drive and the scoop up off the glass. Then the Knights crash the offensive glass once again. Nick Weber misfires, but Dan Van Groningen is there for the tip in. Warburg led 32-29 at the break. Second half, it's the offensive glass again. Clay Cook pulls down the board and scores, plus the foul. Warburg goes up by four. Nathaniel Smith, though, on the blow-by for Loris. Answers, Duhawks just kept hanging around. Jordan Cannon tried to pull the Knights away. Wide open for three. He nails another one. And then Nick Weber gets a steal on his way to the basket, hanging in the air, can't get it to go, but Cannon is there for the follow. Career high, 24 points and 10 rebounds for him. Loris went up 57-56, but Warburg responded with a 7-0 run, including that Nick Weber floater. But Loris comes back again in transition. Smith hits Aaron Schuler for the three ball. 63 to 60 at that point and then on Morris's next possession again in transition Smith beats everybody down the floor for the layup Duhawks cut it to one later on Smith with the jumper under a minute to play gives Loris a 66-65 lead Warburg responds putting the ball in the hands of Cannon he hands off to Weber for the jump shot Knights let it 67-66 40 seconds to go Dominique Chris, just six points on the night, gets to the hole and gets it to go off the glass. Five seconds remaining now. Warburg has the ball in the hands of Cannon again. Chris all over him, and Cannon's attempt at the buzzer falls short. Loris defeats Warburg 68-67 as the Knights move to 10-8 on the year.